Hello everyone, it is Mimi again with Mimi's Worms, and today I am doing an experiment. Um, Y'all may have seen the video where I was asking about um, oak leaves and if they were okay to use in a worm bin. So I gathered up some and I chipped them up and I have them here. This bin here, um, it has just the leaves and then I've added some castings to get the to help get the microbes going. I've added some corn and some cracked corn and some layer mash, layer mash to get the heat up and then I have them sitting on a heat mat. I wanted to see if the because they're out here and we're still in winter time, I wanted to see if the heat mat would actually help them to break down quicker. I don't know if any of this is going to work. It's just an experiment. I do not recommend you go putting worms in something you don't know if it's going to heat up or not heat up or if it'd be good for them or not. So right now we are in the first day of making this. The second bin, I have a mixture of cardboard paper, the lay of mesh, uh, the cracked corn, and some leaves. And all both of these bins are moistened um, to, to hopefully get the uh, composting started. And um, I'm going to put in this probe. I'm only going to put it about an inch in there. And that will uh, help, hopefully start helping bring up the temperature. Now, I have it sitting on the heat mat. So I'm going to have to watch to make sure this doesn't dry out too much. I'm also going to put a piece of plastic on both of them. Let me set this up on my tripod here um, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a piece of plastic over both of them. And this is just a trash bag. It's a black trash bag. I'm going to put that over both of them. Then I'm going to get some cardboard and put over that. And then over all of that, I'm sorry, I'm going to put the screen after the plastic because I want to keep rodents and stuff out. So I'm going to put my cardboard over my screen. Probably should cut this piece of cardboard down, but I'm going to try to just there we go and then I'm just gonna put something a little bit heavier on top and I had a small piece of cardboard what did I do with it oh that's about there I'm gonna put that one in here and I'm gonna set something heavy on that so that should keep the rodents out Hopefully that will start heating up in the next day or two. I have the temperature on it. And I probably should put a thermometer in there. Let me see if I have one laying around. I usually do. Should have got that already. Well, I don't see it right off the bat. So I will come back and add a thermometer to it. Um, just so that I can see what it's heating up to. Um, if you want to give this a try, uh, do it at home. Do not put any worms in there yet. We're going to be using this to um, restart some of my homemade mini CFTs, as I call them. I um, have about 12 to 15 of these I built when I first started worm farming. And... Um, 
they are made with rebar at the bottom we're gonna uh, have this you want a good bit of cardboard when you first start it because it's gonna uh, have a lot of water it's gonna break down and it's probably gonna be nine months to a year before we actually harvest anything from it which will give that cardboard time to break down I've gathered up uh, shredded cardboard I've got several bins of it here this is a big bin that I made up the other day of the shredded cardboard and, and leaves. Um, it's just got a mixture. Um, same thing going on in this one. And um, yeah, I'm just going to um, be doing some videos on making some of this uh, compost to see how it works with the worms. And if it turns out well, then we're going to be using it in those CFTs. But before we do that, I want to see how it's going to do. Um, if you guys remember, when I first started my worm farm, this was one of the buildings that we used. And we were doing the bins cut in half. Now it just holds toys for the kids. <laughs> um but these were fun, and uh, I did like, oh, I found me some, uh, I told you I had some thermometers. Um, so, I've just been trying to clean up out here. I had to redo some of the pipes that had broke over the years, because we haven't used this greenhouse in about two years. Um, it's just been sitting with all this stuff in it, and uh, so, I want to do some gardening this year so i want to get me some castings going here at home and um we still have the rabbits over there in the other hoop house so i plan to use some of that rabbit poop and uh i've got some raised beds we've started but i still got a lot of cleaning up to do um yeah so just follow along and um we'll be back in a few days to see how this is coming along until then you guys have a wonderful day.